Just my start sequence for starting the King Air. We don't have any cowlings on because we've just, just done a compressor wash. Just gonna run it now to get it all dried up in there. Boost pumps are on. Master battery switch is on. Close the gen ties. Check that there. Then check that there's no unnecessary electrics on. I've just switched the beacon light on. I warn everybody that I'm starting. Checking the condition of the battery. It's in very good condition. So we'll start number one engine now. The switch for that. There we go. You can hear the igniters. And with my left hand, I'm advancing the fuel lever now. Introducing fuel. Here it comes. I love that turbine sound. I'm trapped here in a uh, King Air 90 GTX. The cowlings and the engines are off because we've just washed the compressors. But I'm going to just uh, advance the prop lever so you can see the uh, mechanism working. We're looking at that mechanism there. That is just um, above the prop governor. When I advance the prop levers now, you should see that move. As I wiggle that, you can see that mechanism moving. And as I put the props from feathered to fine, you see that mechanism moving. And the governor takes over, and shortly the prop RPM will increase as the blades go fine. also indicated here on the prop indications on the uh, engine parameters and engine instruments so that's now with the props they are the blades have turned fine and now I'm going to feather them again okay so that's the props uh, with the props fully forward and fine I'm now going to pull these levers back into the feathered position and you'll see the mechanism do its job Now the props are feathered and the RPM has reduced to 410, 420 each side. Not every day you get to see that. Okay, now the shutdown procedure. I would uh, normally have these transfer pumps and cross feed switched off as part of the aft landing flow. The standby indicator is already off. Switch the avionics off. Check that the battery has been charging during the flight. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move these condition levers back and that will shut down the engine. So as I move them back, you can instantly hear that it's doing its job. Fuel's removed from the system and the engines are shut down. And then I wait for the N1s to drop below 10%, which they have, to switch off the electric boost pumps for the fuel system. And we're good. Everything's shut down and the master switch goes off. 